Hi friends. Welcome to my app Terra Journey. And today I'm here to talk to you about App Terra. And I'd like to talk to you about uh, the in wheel motors and some recent developments there. And uh, electronic controls. So let's get to it. Over the course of the last uh, couple weeks or so, there's been some developments I'd like to share with you. The first, there was a um, uh, online um, um, video session with, and I can't, and I'm sure I'm not going to say it right, uh, the, the wheel manufacturers, Elfi, Elfa, whatever, whatever the, the name of the wheel motor manufacturers are. And one of the things that was revealed uh, during that uh, webinar was the fact that uh, Aptera is going to have a custom version of the wheel motor designed for them. Uh, now, I don't know all the details because all the details weren't revealed. But one thing I do know is the routing of the power cables, the three phase power cables out of the motor, and likely the cooling hydraulics for the motor, or the motors, uh, is going to be custom designed so that Aptera can smartly route the cables in all the aerodynamic arm fairings. And this is likely the stability arms that go up and down with the wheel between the vehicle chassis and the actual wheel itself. You know, all that suspension stuff that goes up and down. And uh, Aptera has flare fairings that they've designed to go around those suspension parts to reduce wind drag resistance and increases efficiency, of course. So yeah, Aptera is going to have custom designed in-wheel motors and they're going to be likely a variant of, I think it's the 50 kilowatt motor that uh, the manufacturer already offers. So that was really interesting. Uh, not much else I thought was really dramatic out, out of that webinar, except in my advantage point, the fact that the wheels are gonna be custom wheels uh, by the manufacturer. Hey neighbors. So that's pretty cool. The next thing I'd like to share with you today, I think is actually way more interesting, but it's related. The wheel manufacturer is going to have one of the Alpha Aptera vehicles shipped to them for testing. And my guess is there's going to be a contingent of Aptera people uh, going to Europe uh, for this testing. And this information was released, I believe it was in a, an email update from Aptera. So I'm sharing with you information from two different sources, the webinar and an email update. Now, it's my understanding, uh, per the email update that the uh, Aptera that's going to be shipped to Europe for testing to the wheel manufacturer is going to be focusing on testing of the control systems. Electric motors are pretty simple things, but if you want them to operate properly, you need to have a control system. Uh, something that um, provides output and feedback for acceleration, deceleration, 
and likely thermodynamics of the motors under high speed conditions. Now that's my speculation. All I can tell you is for certain is that the uh, shipment of the vehicle to Europe will be for uh, evaluation of control systems. And as a trained electrical engineer, I can tell you that the control systems in electric vehicles are absolutely essential to establishing how fast the vehicle can go, how fast the vehicle can decelerate with regeneration, and a host of other variables because electric vehicles are just electric motors with control systems. And um, you know, how you drive those motors is absolutely critical to the ride experience. So that's pretty much my update. Uh, I'm particularly excited about the plan to take the uh, Alpha, one of the Alpha Aptera Roadsters to Europe to do controls testing. I mean, the, the, mounter, the motor's already mounted. That's not an issue. But I would presume the, uh, the testing would uh, establish some baselines for um, how the vehicle handles uh, when the uh, any slip turns on, uh, the traction control, how, when does the um, uh, anti lock brake uh, start to become engaged. But so uh, this is the uh, going to be the alpha vehicle to, um, to understand what those uh, initial conditions are for the control systems. And likely there'll be further updates to the control systems in the future. But uh, that's pretty much what I have for you, my friends. Uh, Aptera will have custom motors primarily to um, have the power cables uh, properly routed through the aerodynamic arms on the Aptera vehicle. And uh, we're going to see one of the uh, Alpha Aptera shipped to Europe for testing at the wheel manufacturer uh, with the wheel manufacturer. So that's exciting news. It's great development activity. And that's pretty much all I have for you right now. And I look forward to seeing you before too long. Stay well. And if you're interested, there's a link down below where you can get uh, 10% off, I'm sorry, 30% off your Aptera pre-order. That's a uh, $100 pre-order for $70. So check the link out down below, and we'll see you next time, my friends. Take care. Bye-bye.